Hey, how's it going? Go for a walk with me. So recently someone really close to me just sent me a, a message asking me if my new song, Heal This Nation, is a success. So that's a, and with the most beautiful intentions, right? This person really does care about me. They care, care about my music. They want it to get out into the world and they sincerely care, right? But answering that question is a really difficult thing in the music business because it all comes down to how do you define success, right? Um, for me as a songwriter, oh my gosh, the time I hit publish or the, the time that I hear the song is actually playing two people is a success for me because I know that they can always listen to that song from that time on and all the energy that I put into making the song and writing it and recording it and doing the videos and content, that all adds up to success for me, right? But that person means is it a success in the short term, right? So I just, and that's, uh, that's a, a trickier question. I mean, it's only been four days. <laughs> but uh, I do want to answer that and explain how the, uh, sorry if the sun is uh, banging against your forehead. Um, I do want to, here, that's better. I do want to answer that question in terms of Spotify and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all the algorithms and all, all of the platforms, right? So I just checked my Spotify artist dashboard and I have 1,320 streams on Heal This Nation in four days. So that's a lot to me. I mean, I know if like if I was on a record label, if I had a million monthly listeners, there would be a lot more, but 1,320 streams is a lot of music um, being played. And in the research that I've done, what I've learned is that this really is about algorithms and people listening to your music over time, right? So the most important algorithms on Spotify are release radar and discover weekly in terms of algorithmic playlists. Now there are editorial playlists where people from Spotify, like official people who supposedly know good music, um, they put your music, your song on editorial playlists when you submit it. So like if you're a rapper, it'd be like rap caviar. Or if you're an Americana artist, it might be, re um, it might be the Americana, or if you're a country artist, it might be hot country. But in today's day and age, mostly record label people or huge social media um, influencers get those spots because they, they bring so much traffic to Spotify organically already, or they pay to do it. Um, but the way the algorithmic playlists work, and this is really what I want you to get, is when you listen to my song, Heal This Nation, on Spotify, you're affecting the algorithmic playlist response. The first one being release radar. So my Spotify channel followers will, some of them, a percentage of them will get the song first on their release radar algorithmic pl playlist, right? But it's a really small percentage. And out of the 1,320 streams I've gotten so far in four days, I think maybe 80 people have seen it through Release Radar. It's really been you. Thank you. My social media people who have been listening and like really engaging with the song. You're what makes the difference here, right? Like, you're my long-term success. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the more people listen, this next coming Friday, this upcoming Friday, which is like four days away, um, because of your listening, more people will get it on their release radar. And Spotify will start showing it to people who aren't followers on their release radar. 
And there's this thing called a popularity score, all right? Where depending on how many streams you're getting and how real they are and how much listening there is, you, your song gets a popularity score. So like my most popular song on Spotify, Burn Away, currently has a popular, popularity score of 31, which is really great. And that puts me on the Discover Weekly playlists. Every couple weeks I get like a couple thousand streams from Discover Weekly on Burn Away. Now I've got other songs like Here Comes the Sun and a couple other ones who are in like the, the mid 20s as far as a popularity score goes. And they get, sh they've been shown Discover Weekly just here and there, but if they get over 30, which I imagine they will at some point, then I'll be getting way more algorithmic playlist streams. I'm kind of explaining this for my diehard listeners and to know, to tell you that you're making a difference out here <laughs> uh, beyond just listening to the music and for my musician friends who wonder, yo, how does all the Spotify stuff work? and how do I grow an audience? So, little recap. Release Radar comes out first. The more people that listen, the more people on Release Radar. If you get a score over 20 in the first week, I think you probably need, I've heard people say you need between like 1,500 and 2,000 streams in the first week to get to continue showed on more Release Radar. Right, so right now I've got 1,320 in four days. Sometimes I see deer out here, it's pretty cool. Um, by Friday, I'm hoping to have over 2,000 streams, which will put me on more release radar. By next Monday, maybe I'm put on Discover Weekly. I think Discover Weekly comes out on Mondays. Um, but I will keep you up to speed on that front. So I hope that helps define it um, success on all my other platforms is people listening all I care is that people listen to the music and like you know and it has some long-term relevance to it and and some cultural relevance that's one thing I've been thinking quite a lot about is cultural rel relevance and like you know songs that can hold up over time I mean I've always thought about that but in a, in a quick instant gratification world that we live in right now I think about it even more like that songs really need to stand on their own in terms of integrity writing chord progressions recording quality all the things that go into making a great song right because I want my stuff listened to five years ten years twenty years from now um, yes everything is successful on this front uh, I, I'm gonna do some more um, Spotify algorithmic uh, knowledge uh, type of videos um, coming up, so I'll keep you uh, I'll keep you up to speed on the short term success of things. And I've got lots of other songs coming out too. Like in a couple of weeks, well maybe a month, I'm going to have another song call coming out called "Beautiful to Me." Uh, thanks for watching the song video. I'll see you later. Bye.